Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Kodigo Maven. Our today's topic is how to create different uh, columns of different data types in an existing SharePoint list. So let's start. I have created a dummy SharePoint list called test. You can see this test SharePoint list is having only one column title. So we will create uh, different columns of different types. So the types we are covering today is a text column, then a multi-line column, a date time column, a choice column, person or group column, number column and obviously lookup column. So first of all, today we will see if you uh, want to create a bunch of columns automatically and that is automated using PNP PowerShell how you can achieve that so here you can see I have created one CSV file with display name internal name type and choices this column is specifically specifically for a choice data type after the CSV file is ready with you let's open PowerShell IEC. So first, we are reading the CSV file we have created, this Excel file or CSV file we have created. Then this is the site URL variable where I am uh, getting my site URL. This is my site URL. Uh, test theme site where I have created this test uh, SharePoint list. Then list name it should be test then i am writing this code this code will basically um, connect to your uh, sharepoint site i am not uh, entering credential over here instead i am using uh, use web login to use this first open your site in any browser and provide your credentials i am using this method method basically because um, uh, there is multi-factor authentication activated for my SharePoint online site so if I open this site in a browser uh, using my username password and multi-factor multi authentication and keep it open then this use web login will automatically connect to my site don't close this browser where you have logged in for successful connection so this is the entire code for creating all these columns those are written in this excel file so this is the csv file i am reading and this is each row of that csv file now the formula for text that is single line of text for person of group or group for number for date time and for multi line uh, the code for it is this add pnp field to the list name, named test i am giving the display name over here i am giving the internal name over here and giving the type uh, inside this forage loop it is getting the rows and values from the csv file and then uh, add to default view uh, i am using to add this column in the lists view default view this is the line of code basically to use text field uh, person or user field number field date time field and multi line field if you want to create a column of choice field so in this column you need to give your choice options like this red white blue black i have given in this format then now inside of it i am fetching that choice field it is this one and then splitting it and creating an array called choice options then this is the line of code to add a choice option add pnp field list list name display name internal name type and there is one more parameter choices 
here you give the choice options and add to default view now lastly how to add lookup column so here i am checking if the column type is lookup from where i am getting this types this so here it is lookup so here i am checking if the column type equals lookup then i am getting the parent list name here you can see i have a parent list this is the parent list inside this parent list in under title all this uh, titles are there brand names of the cars then the field we want to look up from the parent list that is the title you can give you can give the name of the field you wish to then i am simply first adding that column as a lookup column new column i'm creating this column add pnp field list list name display name internal name type lookup and add to default view it is just, it is the same as uh, this one then lastly i am setting the lookup field from parent to set it i am using one more line set pnp field list 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 name this is the child list name identity here under identity i am giving the internal name then values under values i am fetching uh, the parent list using get pnp list dot id i am fetching the id of the parent list and the lookup field name of the parent that is title so this is the you can see this is the entire script i have written so let's go to my sharepoint site again this is the parent list and this is the child list where i want to create all this column from this csv file car name car description sale date color options buyer name model number and brand and the type is uh, text which is single line of text note which is multi line of text date time is date time choice user uh, user is person or group number is number and lookup column so let's run our partial script over here so you can see all my columns have been created so here if i refresh it you can see all the columns are created and these are added in the default view so if i go to list settings you can see all the seven columns car name has been created car description sale date color option buyer name model number brand this is the lookup column let's see is the lookup column has been created successfully the brand yes the type you can see is lookup and the get information from parent list and in the column title so i can we can see that uh, the lookup column has been created successfully let's check the choice column color options here see red white blue and black red white blue and black this has been created now let's go to the test list again and let's add a record so let's title title we have not created this so we have not created this title column but it is a required field so just i'm giving it test title then car name polo car description it's a nice car sale date let's say that is 17th then color option i am choosing red buyer name i am giving i 
am giving a person that is present in my SharePoint site as a user model number I can give any number one two three four five brand I'm choosing Volkswagen I'm not choosing any attachment I'm saving it to so see the data has been saved like this so thank you for watching I hope it helped thank you